All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, Pepperbeats with this here. Hope everybody guys are doing all right. Uh, today in the dip series, we're going to talk about Law Martial Law's wall game. Uh, Law has a pretty uh, above average wall damage and above average wall game, but he's certainly no Lars or he's no Leo for that matter, or Nina or uh, Bruce at you know wall damage. But he's still got you know better than most characters wall game as well as a good assortment of wall splatting moves. Uh, Waz is a really good pressure character and a good uh, poke character in my opinion, so getting a wall splat is really, um, it's easier for him than it is for other characters because he has a lot of pokes to make that happen. Now, as I mentioned in my top 10 moves video, he has down back 3 and down 4 3, etc. for poking, uh, and of course back 4. Uh, back 4, in my opinion, is almost essential for getting that wall splat because um, a smart player, when, they tr when there's pressure against the wall, they'll wait for their opportunity to get out. As in, they're gonna either sidestep their way out when they know they can, or they're gonna block and wait for you to do something un I mean, punishable so they can uh, hit you and then get out of the wall. Um, back 4 pretty much nullifies any of that, because back 4 is both homing, mid, and safe. So they cannot punish it, they cannot sidestep it, and they cannot duck it. For whatever reason they want to duck at the wall. <laughs> but, yeah, so back 4, really great at the wall. Now, unfortunately, this means that if you want to wall splat someone, you have to do back 4 3. Now, as much damage as back 4 3 does, um, it is duckable. So, you know, if you do not get a guaranteed hit, as in they block the first and they duck the second one, you are gonna lose your advantage at the wall and you might have wasted it. Um, there is no hit confirming back 4 3. Uh, you pretty much just have to wait for them to mess up or something, or just do it when you feel like there's a really good chance that they're gonna get hit by it. Um, but there are, uh, safer options to get wall splats. Um, there is counter hit 1, 2, 3, which is a wall splat. Safe as well, so no reason to do, do anything. Hmm. Usually, that usually hits. Oh, let's do this. More reliable. Um, other moves, he has the wall splat, it's 4, 4, 2, 3. Now, 4, 4, 2, 3, while it's really strong, is negative 17. So, um, you have to be careful about it, uh, if it doesn't hit, and since there's a wall there, there is no knockback. So you're pretty much screwed there, so I would be careful about using that move as well. Um, he also has back 3. Now back 3, much like back 4, is the same kind of concept. Mid, homing, uh, and safe. So there's nothing they can do about it if they block it. And I believe it also has knockback even at the wall. A little bit, not as much though. This is where back, I guess you could do back sway. Anyways, so back 3, like I mentioned in the top 10 video, is similar looking to down back 3. So back 3 is an amazing wall splat move because it looks like a low. Now when they thought they'd see a low, it's actually a wall splat. Huh, I guess it doesn't work on Jin. Good. It hits. Either way, back 3, very good at wall splatting. Um, flip kicks also wall splats, but that's pretty much like every launcher, you know, nothing really to write home about. Uh, his running three also wall splats, very good, like most running threes. But, uh, Law's running three is unique in that it gives, it has really long active frames, probably the best running three in the game. Outside of like Xiao Yu's, which you could combo off of. Um, so, I I'm gonna make him get up so he can freaking stop. I still have to, I have to stop resetting it. So essentially what your plan is with Law is you want to land a wall splat move like all wall pressure games. Now you do this with an assortment of lows that can pressure the opponent and etc. And give them, you know, um, pressure them so much that they make a mistake and that you let them, they, they force you to duck, I mean, they you force them to duck and they get wall splatted. Um, also really good at the wall is, um, what's what I was gonna say, um, shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say, oh yes, okay, um, another really good move at the wall, other than his lows, is that his wall standing 4, or 4-3, four, any of his DSS moves, uh, are really good at the wall, and usually something like this, most, most people's wall standing 4s are like negative 6 or whatever, right, so that means that, um, after wall standing 4, they can get out, you know, they can start jabbing you, and you can't do anything about it, but, since Law is unique with DSS, you can do DSS. Oops. Um, 
and then Lost Flag with a Lost F I mean, uh, DSS 1. Or even a DSS 2, with also Lost Flag. So, you say you do a back 4, right? And then you do a down 3, and then do Lost setting 4, and then they block it, right? And they think, oh, maybe it's my turn to hit now, right? So, do that, that. Oops. Okay, so. This, this. And then there, that's a very common setup right there. You can do it faster, because that was a bit of a slow DSS one. But um if they if they press buttons during any of that, they're gonna get counter hit. I mean they're gonna get opened up and they're gonna get wall splat. So it's very not good for them, pretty much. Um so as you can see Law has a really good assessment of wall splat moves. Um other ones is like 3 plus 4. Is back 3 plus 4, which you kind of can use at the wall if you can bait them, like do an unsafe move, like a partially unsafe move, like 1, 2, 3, and then since it's like negative 8, um, they can try something slow, but you can do a back sway and then you can hit them. Although I wouldn't recommend it because Law's back sway move is kind of slow, it's long punishable, and it has absolutely like zero tracking. Um, options uh, at the wall in terms of combos. Law has a couple of, um, you know, enders at the wall. Post bound, you can do uh, down back four, four of dragon tail, double flippies. You could do, um, you can do junkyard. Uh, that's more so for wall carry though, um, because um, this move hits all portions of the body, especially with the, the down version. So it's pretty much it's guaranteed that the wall zone is the first part hits as long unless, unless you have like like 14 hits on a combo or something. Um, on some occasions, if there's too many hits in a combo, you have to do a single flip kick or three plus four. There are cases where down four three will hit, but since it doesn't do as much damage as the two moves I talked about before, you might want to just do flip kick or three plus four. Or um, some cases you can squeeze in a four four three, which is really good. And of course, if you can land 4 4 3 as a wall splat move, uh, good on you because that's probably his strongest wall splatting move. Um, uh, that's pretty much it for his wall splatting moves. Um, as you can see, he, has, he does have a lot of ways to make the opponent scare with his pokes and with his back turn and his safe moves, and a really good assortment of wall splatting moves. So, landing all side with Law is easy compared to other characters. As well, his damage of the wall is pretty good since he has good strings that uh, land a ton of damage. Um, another way to Lost Plant is 4 2 2 1 plus 2. Because if you delay this like crazy, you know, they, they want to see, they want to get out, right? So they want to try to interrupt you so they can get out of here. Well, if you can delay this long enough and catch them at the last hit, and they can, you know, if they don't, if they press the button, by the second hit, which is if it's counter hit, boom, Lost Plant for free. And then you forget, a, you get a combo. Um,. That's pretty much it for you. Uh, you could also scare them with slide at the wall, uh, and then do a wall sign four. Oops. And then you know, because like it's in the heat of the moment kind of thing, um, doing a wall sign four into DSS wall spot is a good option to do because unless they're like you know, because they're scared of the slide mix up, but then you finally did what you were gonna do the slide on, and they think it's over since they blocked it, then you can do that, you know, etc. Um, very rarely there is a very rare case. Uh, where if you counter hit this and then you do DSS forward one, you can actually guarantee it via combo, but that requires absolutely just frame levels of perfect DSS and it's very difficult. Mm, okay. Um Oh. Additionally from back turn, other than his boss that moves, because back to two um he has also his wall splat moves from back turns, so he's got like back back turn two two which wall splats. Oops, I'm waiting there. Oh, wow. He also has four three wolf fang, which is not uh guaranteed, but usually because you can delay it so much, you can just land the second hit by itself. On a counter hit, it is guaranteed. Very good damage right there. And that's pretty much it what Lost Bats on the wall. He does have a uh, hop kick, but that's you know like in launchers and stuff. He does have his uh, flip kick as well. Uh, 
Um, one of the weaknesses though is that he can't really do his forward forward leap as forward grab with the wall. Even though you do get a wall splat, you have to bound immediately and then you kind of get less damage. Uh, you do get, you can get something, but it does force, you You do have to force pretty much a uh, attack rash. I mean attack assault. Um, now one of the harder uh, bound options at the wall is Floss strongest bound option at the wall, which is 4-3, DSS 4-3. That move, uh, you can land it at the wall, but, um, basically, it's very difficult. Yeah, right there it'll hit, as you can see, but the only reason that one hit is because Marduk is a huge character. Um, characters like Marduk, um, Ogre, Bears, uh, Jack as well, uh, they're so huge that the 4-3, you have lenience with the 4-3 that'll hit. Um, Although, I'm not sure about this, but I feel like in this game, the 4-3 is stricter. Because you pretty much have to do it like like as if it was a full string, like it was a unique string. Um, so that means that um, uh, it's very difficult, especially on small characters like Xiao Yu or um, Asuka. So, you know, you have to be very careful about when you're going to use it. Um, forward 1 will hit um, sometimes. It has, it's, it's better leniency than forward 3. But in case you're not confident about hitting it, you can just do Junk Jab, which will pretty much um, hit 90% of the time with the wall, no matter how big they are or how many hits they had. Alright, so, um, without further say, I do believe that pretty much covers it for Law's wall game. Um, he doesn't really have a strong reason to at the wall, although Dragon Tail is guaranteed on Oki at the wall. Uh, if they're if they're downed, so they can't really do anything about that. But without further say, that's pretty much it. Um, doesn't really have anything else other than a really good assortment of release wall splash moves and good bow pokes, as well as back turn stuff that can get you uh, wall splash moves. So uh, that was Law's wall game, and I uh, hope you guys hope that was helpful. And you know, if you uh, like the video, uh, like, comment, uh, or subscribe if you were crazy enough. I really appreciate it. And hope you guys have a nice day. See you guys later.